Okay, mate, let's have a quick look at them here. Now, uh, manager is red on the month. We've had a, a small grab onto liquidity, very small, and, and we're kind of dipping. So I would just just be careful as long as it's red, okay? Um, that's that's definitely one important factor because um, this could, if we rolled here, there's not much support in this. If, if we rolled over here and this failed, we, we're probably going here, somewhere here. So just keep that in mind. But yes, uh, there is the potential that this, if we can get a, a bullish break here, you know, and it may need to be a new three day, but maybe we can come back up and test this. This could end up being almost like an Adam and a, an Eve. You get that Adam and Eve pattern uh, sort of like that. Who knows if we can go to new highs or not. Maddox is one of the stronger coins in the market, but it, it's potentially forming sort of an Adam and Eve uh, pattern. So if it holds up, then yes, this is, this is uh, decent. Now, when I see this sort of pattern here, I actually like this to break back down. Um, you, like you, you said that this is holding above the white 100. Th this is technically, it's a good start. But what I when, when, it, when it gets up like this, a lot of times I do like to see it break down, come back up inside, move, and then break. Okay, something like that. Just this, the, the, the failure, the first failure here um, kind of allows the moving averages to potentially flatten out a bit. And uh, when these get flat, then you can have better uh, bullish structure. This is a good example. Well, you know, when they flatten out, you get that drop. See that drop down? And then price gets up again and it consolidates and then you break up. That's almost exactly what I was trying to trying to talk about implying that maybe this is just not ready yet and that's the same with link now um of, of course they, they can be see see the way this is consolidated here and i just posted uh about link here right just just right above now the, the fact that this has not broke down and it's actually consolidating here see this consolidation base it, it's actually allowing these moving averages to kind of flatten that bit so that has helped price in, in, in its development, and maybe, just maybe, this could break up, okay? So you want these moving averages to 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 have time and flatten out a little bit. When they're very steep to the downside, it's generally not that great for bullish action. And when I say about that bullish action, it, it's kind of, uh, kind of just means they need time. Like this is a good example. You can see I drew a line uh, that we could break up above this and move. Um, but we actually got stuck in the apex and rolled over. Um, the fact that the white one on moving average was already trending down, as you can see here, was not that great for the bullish action. It did support here. And I, I had thought that the support here might be able to push this back up. But obviously the overall market had failed. And then we rolled and, and, and went bearish. For example, we're, we're, we're creating almost the exact same pattern. Uh, not the exact same, but, you know, we, we get the steep drop and we move back up into the white 100 moving average. We get the steep drop and we move back up into the white 100 moving average. Now, what happens is, yes, we do break up and we, we attempt to break above uh, the red and the purple. but And then we, we chop in here in the apex. We got up and we chop here in the apex. Right There was a spike above it. And then we actually roll back down to make, well, potentially make a double bottom. And then we could move up. That, that, that's, this is a very plausible pattern that could unfold. I do think the short term action is bullish, but I think the larger pattern, we need work and we might need to come back down at some point for a double bottom before moving out of there. So yes, uh, potentially slightly bullish here. Um, and I do think there should be moves up. But the overall structure, it might need to come back down and run stops. All these, all these people will need their stops ran um, and then come back down, form some sort of double bottom or whatever, and, and then maybe make our way back up being bullish. Kind of similar to all of these examples. You know, you, you think you're going to move away, but you can actually come back down, create the double bottom, and then you run. And then it actually came down and stopped onto all of that, and then it ran.
Okay, so that, uh, something similar is very possible here um, in all of these coins. I don't mean I just don't mean uh, Dodo. I mean Link. I mean uh, you name it. More of ninety percent of these coins will probably do something like this, right? Okay, so the last one. I know I'm getting a little bit sidetracked on what you're asking. Are we bullish above this? We can potentially be bullish um, in the short term. You know that that's. I think it's the same for all of these. Like this is a bit of an example as well. You know, when you break up here um, in a more bearish environment, you definitely can run and you definitely can make that sort of chop or whatever. Um, and the likelihood is that we fail back down for some sort of double bottom and then maybe we can we can turn bullish now this if this double bottom holds or not that's a whole different kettle of fish it depends on the overall market this could in fact uh form a larger bearish structure that may want to break down again now there's zero so you know i'm not saying we're going below zero but i'm just saying it it all depends uh, and my preference at this point is we're probably going to do you know something like that so to answer your question in the short term these are potentially bear bullish 